Hi guys, it's me, Terry of the Yarn Joy Podcast. Welcome back to another tutorial. Okay, so I had a few people ask me how I attach my backpack buddies uh, onto the little clip, and so I thought I'd do a short tutorial showing you how I do it. Okay, so for, t for the backpack buddies, I use this clip right here, and this is a 1.5 millimeter, I think, I think that's what it's called anyway it's a swivel clip and I will put a link in the description box below from where I uh, purchased this through Amazon okay and I got like a set of 50 of them it came in a bag like this like this and they were like uh, I want to say it's $5.99 or $7.99 something like that not not bad at all and so I will like I said I'll put a link in the description box below okay so I use one of these swivel clips okay and I also like to use uh, crochet cotton this is crochet cotton uh, thread the number 10 size thread that you would use like for doilies I have a quite a bit of this um, thread and as you see I've got it wrapped around a toilet paper roll because this was some some project can't even remember what it was now but it was something that I I frogged or unraveled and I wound up onto a toilet po toilet paper roll and so that's what I am using okay so what I do is um, I'll show you this is this is the design uh, that I previously made and uh, it shows you the back the clip that I have attached to it see Okay, so what I did is I took this crochet, number 10 crochet cotton thread, and I cut three, whoops, <laughs> three lengths of, uh, three strands about, um, oh, eight inches long, something like that, eight to ten inches long, okay, and, um, that, so that's what I'm going to use as my, um, cord or whatever <laughs> I also had this plastic container um, that has got this lip on it and that helps me to um, it helps me to have something to clip my clip onto <laughs> so anyway I clip it on the container like that see and now that I've got my thread the strands that I need cut off I put that into it and that just kind of helps stabilize it okay weight it down okay now I take my three strands and I insert it into this loop at the bottom see that just like that okay now what I'm going to be uh, attaching to this is this project that I just started it is a bumblebee the pattern is by bamboo mint it's a free PDF and I will put a link in the description box below um, where I found this pattern so I started my pattern okay it started from the front and I uh, went ahead and installed uh, my safety eyes okay okay so when uh, I was looking at the pattern where they attached the string for their to make it a keychain they attached it right after they got finished with this first black stripe and so I went ahead and uh, started my project off and I got all the way past that first stripe so that way now I want to go ahead and attach my um, string that I'm going to be using the cord that I'm going to make so that way I can knot it on the inside before I stuff it and seal it off okay so I work the pattern until I'm to the point where I want to attach my cord so let's now I'm going to make the cord okay so I've got the yarn I mean the, the thread the cotton thread threaded through that bottom swivel loop part of my clip okay and so now what I want to do is I want to divide because I've got three strands on one side and I have three strands on the other side so I take two of them I mean you know one strand from each side like that and put them together okay and that is going to now give me three strands three sections of two strands each now I'm just going to braid it okay just like a regular three strand uh, braid okay so however you like to do your braid okay. 
and I just braid it down um, to however long I want the um, the distance between the clip and my little bee that I'm making. I don't really measure it. I just what I mainly would do is I just kind of use my finger, and I usually try to get it the length of the first two um, joints <laughs> of my finger, and um, call it good. <laughs> okay, so just braiding it. Okay, and I'm gonna measure. <laughs> Uh, looks like I want to braid it a little bit longer. Okay. Um, that's that's okay. That's pretty good. You can also take your project and hold it there and think, okay, well that's where it's going to hang past your clip, and decide if you like that length or not. Go. Do a couple more braids. Okay, now let's see. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is take this middle strand and I'm gonna separate it back into three strands and three strands, okay? And now I'm gonna take my B and I'm going to start in the center because I want to make sure that it's lined up kind of centered between the two eyes okay and so I just follow that up and I think it's going to be about right there okay so now I'm going to take my crochet hook I am using a 2.5 millimeter hook for this project and I'm going to insert it into wherever I want to that strand to come out at I think it's going to be on either side of this stitch right there Okay, so I loop this cord, that one strand of the three, <laughs> around the hook, and I want to pull it through to the inside of my B. Okay. Now, I'm going to also come up from underneath and go one hole over, and I'm now I'm going to pull that side of that strand through to the inside. Okay, now turn my B over, and now I'm just going to tie it into a knot, both sides. Now I don't want to tie it, I want to tie it nice and firm, but I don't want to tie it so tight that it'll start pulling this, bunching the braid up, and it doesn't look nice and uh, smooth. Okay, so you just kind of get it... Um, crossed over and then you pull it tight and then you kind of look at it and see um, if it's pulled through enough if it's secure okay that looks pretty good okay now I'm gonna go ahead and make my double knot by crossing it over again Okay, and now all you do is you just tuck those strands inside there, okay? And you look at, see how it's attached and if you like it, okay? Now I can go ahead and unclip this from the container. Okay, so I think that's gonna look good. So now I'm done with my hanger. I really like doing the braid because it just makes it look uh, more, uh, well, it's stronger for one one thing because you have several strands braided together, but I also just like really like the way it looks. It, it just look makes it look more finished. And I like to do it where I work it, where I can still knot it on the inside before I stuff it and close it off. Okay. Um, it, it just makes it a whole lot nicer finish. Now I have had to attach it after the part was closed off and it's okay doing it that way. It's just that when you have that knot, you'll have a knot on that, on the kind of on the outside before you tuck your strands in and it just doesn't look quite as nice. Uh, like I did the bear, um, I just, 
you know this bear you start with a ball that you're making and so I just get I got down to about where I started having to um, stop the increases but continue down to finish the ball and so then I went I stopped and I attached my backpack buddy I mean <laughs> attach the cord in order to make it a backpack buddy so I could tie it on the inside before I started decreasing down to close it and so I did that along with putting the safety eyes in at the same time okay so so now I've got that attached and now I'm ready to I'm now going to rejoin this black and uh, I believe the yellow I have to look at the pattern <laughs> but I believe I am done with the yellow I can cut that off and then continue with the black and then the black is going to get uh, decreased down to the where the little stinger is on the bee and then of course I'll attach my antennas and my little wings um, and then my project will be done uh, might go back and give him a little smile. He looks like he needs a little smile, right? <laughs> okay, so that is uh, how I attach my backpack buddy clip or turn them into backpack buddies. <laughs> so thanks so much guys for watching this tutorial and I hope it would is helpful for somebody. Um, I appreciate you watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.